It looks like a penguin, except it's not. It went extinct hundreds of years ago. But where did the last remaining great ox end up? The answer is right here in Cincinnati. Collections are almost like libraries, so I'm almost like a librarian for animals. This is basically a way for us to document biodiversity around the world through history. So this is our minus 80 tissue freezer, and each one of these tubes holds a little chunk of tissue from a specimen that we have prepared in the past. Skin, tissue, fluid, all kinds of stuff. 200,000 different types of animals are in this building So we right keep here. the auk as well as our other extinct birds in what's called our priority cabinet. If there's ever an emergency in the building, like a fire or a flood, this is the cabinet we want to save first. So here is our superstar, our great auk. I think she's really cute. So she's been with us since 1974. But at the time, we had no idea that it was potentially the last one. But when researchers discovered the last male auk in Belgium, a search for its female counterpart led them to the Cincinnati Museum Center. When those last two great auks were taxidermied, their soft tissues were actually preserved in fluid. Fluid that let scholars test the Cincinnati bird's DNA. Because they say studying what happened in the past can help us protect animals in the future. My job is making sure that that animal's death has a meaning. So we did an x-ray of her, and this gives a really nice idea of what is inside of that taxidermy mount. Um, and then we also have an x-ray of her feet. That's where they got the DNA from, and it matched. Pretty incredible. We can't go out in the wild and see this bird anymore. It's gone. Our job is to maintain this for as long as we possibly can, and hopefully we can prevent that from happening again. In Cincinnati, Keith Berigolik, WCPO 9 News.